Hello everyone, so this is going to be a video on how to farm runes as fast as possible, so let's go straight into it. So first of all you're going to need a sacred relic sword which has a requirement of 14 strength, 24 dex, 22 faith. You're also going to need preferably uh, the gold scarab um, and the silver scarab or if you can only get one definitely get the gold scarab. Gold scarab is very easy to get and I think you get it pretty early on. Um, you're going to need a bow um, for this method and also you're going to need a gold pickle fouled foot and you're going to need a silver pickle fouled foot. If you don't have these I'm basically in the next section I'm going to be teaching you how to farm for these and how to craft them yourself so you just pretty much have an infinite supply of them. Okay, So let's get into it. First of all, travel to the Fourth Church of America, which is basically where we're going to be, where we're going to be starting off. Okay, so as you're here, as you can clearly see, in the ingredients you're going to need roa fruit or rawa fruit. These are easily obtained pretty much everywhere. Um, you shouldn't have an issue. And but there's actually some on the way in a second, which I'll show you. So you can get some there. You can get some all around the map. Just walk around, spam triangle or whatever your pickup button is. And you also see that we need silver fireflies for, oh sorry, the gold fireflies for the gold pickle and silver fireflies for the silver pickled. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. But first we need to go over the four toed foul feet. Okay, so for this, you're going to start off at this Church of America bonfire. You're going to get straight on your horse. Oh, and also I'd like to add that the silver pickled foul feet actually increase your chances of getting this item. So you're going to need them uh, if you really want to or if you just want to make farming easier, I guess. So like I said before, you did need a bow, okay? So you're going to be switching to your bow when you jump down here and you're going to kill all of these enemies, all these penguins, okay? Now, this is how I do it. So I'll start off by doing these, these few, okay? Kill that one there. As you can see, I've gotten a few already. Then I'll go for these guys. Then I'll go for those guys over there. Okay. Then I'll go for this guy. And then I'll go for that guy. And then these two. And that's when I stop. There's a few over there if you really want to, but it's just too far to run and too much effort. Once you've done that, so once you have yourself enough of these four fold feet, I'd at least say farm at least 100. You're probably getting like six to seven per run which is like a minute and a half so they're not too they're generally speaking not too difficult and for how long they last anyway like the gold finger how long they last anyway is it's definitely worth it okay in the long run so i'm going to be showing you how to get gold fireflies and silver fireflies which i'll show you in the next section okay so in the section like i said i'll be showing you where the fireflies are and the silver fireflies are firstly we'll go for the gold fireflies so what you want to do is come to the tome with um fire, uh, sign of grace it's pretty much um east of the church of america that we just were for the penguins and you're going to run along this ridge line just get on your horse run along here you can pick a few tarnished golden sunflowers and you can even pick a few raw fruits if you so desire. You can even get some early flowers. So run along this. Uh, you can even pick up some gold excrement or something like that. I know there's one on the floor, but yeah. There you go. Now you're just going to follow the path that I'm taking you. Okay? Follow the path that I'm taking you. Again, you can pick up a few row fruit on the way if you want. Now, once you run up here, you'll notice a few fireflies on the ground. You get 10 per run. Okay, it's really easy to farm. You just do a quick loop de loop. Quick do a loop de loop, run away. That, that's quite literally it. You should get 10 per run. And like I said, they're, they're very easily attainable, um, these guys. So, when you get here, jump off. Jump off, off this platform, and this is where you can reset. Okay, so this is where you go back to the bonfire, go to here, go to here, and reset constantly. So now I'm going to show you where to get the silver fireflies. In this section, you're going to need to come to the Lakeside Crystal Cave. Um, this is located Lionia Lake Shore, um, like just east from, uh, sorry, yeah, west from there. And yeah, you, you can just 
follow where this is pretty easily. It's pretty early on in the game, actually. But, yeah. Okay, so for this section, I personally recommend a torch. Um, you're not going to de-aggro these enemies, um, unfortunately. You get five of these per run. Um, so just keep that in mind. You don't actually get many, but it's pretty easy to run overall. It's not complicated. It's very easy to do. Pick up some budding moss if you want to. You get five... Oh, sorry. Yeah, five of these per time. Again, you can occasionally be hit by one of these dudes. They, they won't do too much damage, especially if you have a little bit of health anyway. So they shouldn't be too much of an issue for you. So when you run back up to the bonfire, you just rest at the sign of grace and then repeat. That's pretty much the entire process. So quick little explanation for what I meant earlier, by the way, with the penguins. Once you pop one of these, you will actually increase your gain um, and basically increase your odds of getting the four toed foul feet, which basically means that you'll get more of them and be able to make more of them, etc. It makes it a lot easier. Trust me. It makes it so much easier. So pop one of these before you go down, kill those like 17 penguins, I think there is, and basically just reset. Easy as that, keep doing it, and you can probably farm about 200 foul feet in probably about 15 minutes. Uh, pretty overall easy to get, and they only cost one per item anyway to craft, so you're all good. So now that we're here, you definitely, I mean, should have mentioned this beginning, but you definitely need the Palace Approach Ledge Road. If you don't know how to get here, then I'm sure you can follow some sort of tutorial and or go watch some other video. Um, for the meantime, though, I'm just going to show you the quick method. Each one of these runs will take about 10 seconds on average. You will get about 300,000 runes per minute, um, per minute estimate. So I'm just letting you know, or one minute, like roughly like a minute and a quarter, you know, um, just depends on how quick you are. So this is my run. Basically, I will try to go to the bonfire here, get up from the fire. Run over here, come onto this ledge right here, but like stand on the slant as much as possible. I would recommend because it gives you the most reach and it will basically mean that you get the extra enemies that are just like right down that bottom. So it tends to clear out all the enemies. So once you've done that, you just sprint back to the bonfire. That is quite literally it. So I have a few little general tips for doing this. Once you run from the bonfire, then you're going to use the L2. Then roll when you get the chance to cancel out the start out of the running animation. That's how to make it just a little bit quicker. Also, then what you can do, this is a weird thing that I found anyway. You can do this at bonfires for some reason. It's just a weird little thing interaction. Basically, when you get into a bonfire, you have this like cutscene to where you do this and you see this menu. You can actually bypass this by spamming the like spamming the escape button. I don't mean like actual escape on keyboard. I mean you get what I'm saying, like the back button. Um, on like Xbox controller, it would be B, like BB. Oh, that sounds weird. Yeah. So like if I spam, just as the loading thing comes up in the top right corner, as you can see, I get up quicker and I bypass the menu. It saves a tiny bit of time. Is it worth doing overall? Maybe not, but I still try to do it anyway. Cuts that time by like 0.8 seconds or something like that anyway. But yeah, overall, those are the tips. Now, basically, I've talked about pretty much everything, but I'm going to go in another section here. And I'm going to be talking about how to actually farm this while pretty much AFK. I mean, you are like actually playing the game. But it's pretty much AFK. It's very easy to do, it's very simple, and you can do this while watching a movie. So, I'm sorry by the way, I forgot to include the other thing, which basically is the foul feet. So basically I'm just going to show you the numbers of how many runes you get per thing without specific items. So firstly, I'll get into showing you how many runes you have without the golden scarab and without the pickled feet that you should be getting per run base stats. Okay, now this is base. Trying to do this as best as possible on, you know, the same spot. That is 31,000 runes base. I do not have anything equipped currently. 
This is the second run through alongside with using the just the golden scarab. So that is 39,729 souls with the golden scarab. So when doing the runs, just as a quick general tip, the best thing you can do before popping one of these is stand right on this ledge and then pop a gold pickled fell foot. So basically, I'm just going to show you how many runes you get from popping one of these. That is 66,955 runes, um, that is one run, and these things last, these things last like roughly like a minute and a half, so they last a pretty decent amount of time. You can probably do seven runs easily with this thing before you get interrupted. You can at least get like 800,000 souls before the thing runs out, so... Yeah, very easy to do. So in the next section, like I said, I will be going over how to make this pretty much an AFK farm. Okay, right. So the first thing you're going to do to make this a lot easier, personally, I recommend turning your max volume down. Turn it all the way down to zero. This will make it like pretty much easier. Go to setting, obviously in your settings, go to screen mode, go to windowed. When it is in windowed, basically set it to 800 by 450 or however, like however big you want really, but I personally recommend a small box in, that you can put in the corner of your screen to basically make it easier on yourself to farm. And as you can see, pull up a YouTube video. Now you can quite literally watch anything you want. You can quite literally watch anything you want. Put whatever video you want on, watch a film, put Netflix on, and then go back to the game and basically, you don't need to see in this game, really. Like, even though this is a small box in the corner, you don't need to be able to see the game to be able to do this. Like, it's very easy. Eventually, you will get the hang of it to the point where it's, like, it kind of is just, like, a natural thing for you. Like, you just, just, like, yeah, you literally just, like, turning 180, pressing circle, turning 180, like, pressing the LT, turning 180, you know, going to the bonfire. Like, it's, it's, it's a very simple process. It's not complicated, so, yeah, like, I'm quite literally doing this just for a few minutes will get you a lot of souls. So, yeah, this is the fastest, by far, easily the fastest method of gaining souls, and I hope these small little tips helped you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, take it easy, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace.